Hello everybody, Sonda Adelaja here. Welcome to uh, my charge to Nigeria and Nigerians. Today's topic is the Nigeria we lost. The Nigeria we lost. When I study, the more I study about Nigeria, the more I am shocked and bewildered at the opportunities that have been lost in regards to building a great Nigeria. And mainly the problem is corruption. In the 60 years of our independence, we have, Nigeria has lost $20 trillion. This is statistics from the United Nations. $20 trillion. $20 trillion is like the size of America. It's almost it's, it's bigger than the size of uh, the economy of Europe. It's the size of the economy of the United States. It's bigger than the economy of Japan. It's bigger than the economy of China. That's what we have lost in 60 years. But today I'm only going to talk about the $200 billion that was lost in six years. Only in six years, $200 billion lost. And that's why we're in the crisis that we're in right now. Between the year 1999 to 2015, between 1999 to 2015, $200 billion. You know what $200 billion means? If you set the, the, the amount of money, 200 billion, one by one. If you pile it up, yeah? One dollar $1 bill end to end. If you put $200 billion, change everything to one dollar bill and pack it like this, one, from one to the other, it will go to the moon. That the distance that it will take you to put that one dollar each, it will take you to the moon and come back 20 times. That is the distance it will take. You had me right. You might need to listen to that again. If you pile, if you pile two, 20 billion dollars in 100, uh, 100, I mean, sorry, one dollar, one dollar bill ish, one dollar bill ish, it will take you to the moon and back 20 times. What is 200 billion dollars? that we lost in six years alone. That $200 billion, that is the Nigeria we lost, the paradise we lost. Because that $200 billion could have created vaccination or could have provided vaccination for children, for all Nigerian children. It could have saved thousands and millions of Nigerian kids. Right now we are battling with coronavirus. We would have had enough money to, to take care of breathing, uh, respiratory system for all the hospitals in Nigeria to be able to take care of the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Right now, we have so many children roaming the street. 15 million Nigerian children are not going to school. That 200 billion could have taken care of all of them. In fact, 5 billion could have taken care of all of them. Niger Nigeria Health Service could have been one of the best in the world if we just put $200 billion into health service. But right now in Nigeria, what do we have? Children are dying daily from common diseases like malaria, cholera, uh, dysentery, dysentery, and many poorly fed children are dying because of poverty. $200 billion will have turned things around for the for these children and for their own children also. That is what we lost in six years. It's a paradise that we lost. Can you imagine we would have, with $200 billion, we would have built thousands of kilometers of roads. We would have constructed some of the best roads within Nigeria and within, between Nigeria and other West African countries. But right now, we have lost that paradise. Because many of our roads right now in Nigeria are nothing but death traps. Two hundred billion naira. I mean, two hundred billion dollars. What could have? What could that have done for Nigeria? If we've had that two hundred billion dollars, we would have had some of the best airline services, you know. But right now, we don't even have Nigerian airlines anymore. Most people right now would prefer to trek. Right, rather than fly, because so many people have lost their lives in, in plane crashes in Nigeria because of the corruption of our system, of our regulatory system. Our railway system is non-existent. I mean, it's, it's just, it's like in, in the 20s, 
that is even the new ones we are building right now is is old fashioned that's because of the money can you imagine if 200 billion dollars have been put into our railway service that would have made us a modern europe and that's just what we lost in six years 200 billion dollars could have revamped our educational system that is the nigeria the paradise the paradise that we have lost because with 200 dollars 200 billion dollars we could have built thousands of modernized secondary and primary schools. Our children would have come out of the streets and they would have you know, studied in a more conducive environment. If Nigerians that are over, overseas who left Nigeria, they are doing well because the environment is conducive for them. But the ones in Nigeria, they are struggling because the environment is not conducive for education. With $200 billion, our universities, our classrooms would have been you know, made to be some of the best universities in the world. But right now, our children are running away to some substandard countries to just get admission to universities. $200 billion could have turned around their destiny and their the destiny of universities and colleges of education and technical colleges in our country. $200 billion could have built and restored all our hospitals and make them first class hospitals all over the, you know, among the, the top in the world. That $200 billion that was lost to corruption. Right now, our health services is just it's a sham and a, an embarrassment. Even we don't have primary health care services. Local governments, there are no hospitals. Even in some cities, it's just, you know, the water is falling down and, you know, the roofs are leaking. It's just horrible. But with $200 billion, all that could have been taken care of. That is the Nigeria, that's the paradise we, 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 we've lost. That's the Nigeria we lost. With $200 billion, Nigeria would have taken care of the water supply system in Nigeria. Because right now, every family is providing their own water. If there are no water in the villages, and as a result of that, there are so many diseases killing our people. Diseases connected to waterborne diseases like typhoid, cholera, and others, just because people don't have access to water. With $200 billion, we could have supplied water to every household in the country. And that money was stolen by just a few elite, in only in six years. With 200 billion, the problem, the biggest problem we think we have in Nigeria is electricity. Now, that problem is still unresolved 60 years after independence. But 200 billion dollars could have resolved that problem easily. It will have, we would have with 200 billion, we would have not just been having 100% electricity supply, we would have been having, um, electricity supply to at the level of Great Britain and South Africa just with 200 billion dollars but we lost it because some greedy individuals would rather take this and put it in their pocket can you imagine with 200 billion dollars what an electricity functioning I mean with electricity supply being at the level of the United Kingdom and at the level of South Africa can you imagine what small businesses would have done how businesses would have thrived in Nigeria that's the paradise we have lost, the Nigeria we lost. With $200 billion, we could have built a small Dubai in every state capital of our 36 states. With $200 billion, no state could have been struggling with paying salaries like they are doing right now. Just $200 billion that was lost in six years by a few unscrupulous Nigerians. What can I say? Can we still rebuild this lost paradise called Nigeria? I believe so. I believe so. I believe we can still rescue our nation. We can still rebuild it and give our children a greater country and a greater future. For the love of God, church and nation, peace.